how to make android app without android studio in this video we are going to create simple blank blue screen app which will look like this first we will see how to set up the computer for creating android app without android studio next we will see setting up android project and building the apk file lastly we will install that apk in our phone first we are going to download and install the android studio command line tools first go to developer.android.com/studio now keep scrolling until you find command line tools now click here for linux now click here then click here to download the android command line tools after downloaded will get a zip file like this now extract this file here now rename it to android sdk Now open that folder. Now open that. Now create a new folder called the latest. Now move all the files into latest folder. Open the latest folder. Now open bin. Now right click. Click open in terminal. Now type this. Now type Y and enter. After downloaded, type this. After downloaded, type this. After that, copy the path of Android SDK folder. Now type this to edit the bash RC file. Now scroll to the bottom. Now type this. Now paste the path of Android SDK folder. Now press Ctrl O to save the file. Now press Ctrl X to exit. Now type this to refresh the terminal. Now type this to install the Java Development Kit 17. Now type this to install the Java Runtime Environment for 17. Next we need to install the SDK Man package. To install SDK Man, Go to sdkband.io slash install and follow this instruction to install the SDK man package. After SDK man is installed, type this to install Gradle 7.5. Now we are going to create a new Android project. Create a new folder called My App. Now open that folder. Right click, open in terminal. Now type this to create a basic project structure. 
now type one and press enter now press enter press enter now some files are created now open the settings.cradle file using any text editor i am using visual studio code now clear all the text now go to this link now click the setting start cradle now click here to copy this code and paste it in the setting start cradle file after that open the build dot cradle file now clear this now click the build dot cradle and copy this code and paste here now right click click open in terminal now type this to create a gradle dot properties Now click gradle dot properties and copy the code now paste here and save the file now right click now create a new folder called app now open that folder now create a new folder called src now right click click open in terminal now type this to create a build dot gradle file now type this to create a pro dot file now open the build dot gradle file now click app click build dot gradle now copy this code and paste here now open the pro dot file now click app click the pro dot now copy this code and paste here now open the src folder now create a new folder called main now open that folder now create a new folder called java now create another folder called res now right click click open in terminal now type this to create a android manifest.xml file now open the android manifest file now click app now click here now click the android manifest file and copy the code and paste here now go to res folder then create a new folder called layout now open that folder right click click open in terminal now type this to create activity main.xml file now open that file now click app click source now click rest layout and click this now copy this code now paste and save the file now go back to the main folder and open the java folder now create a new folder called cim now open that folder and create a new folder called name now open that folder 
Now create a new folder called my app. Now right click, click open in terminal. Now type this to create a main activity java file. Now open that file. Now copy the code from link. Now go back to my app folder. Now right click, click open in terminal. Now type this to build the apk file. It will take few minutes to build the apk. After the successful build, go to the app folder. Now build the folder. Now go to output, click apk and go to debug. Now copy this apk file to your phone. After copy the apk to your phone, tap that apk to install. Now click install. After install, you will see the app in the home screen. Now tap the tab to open. In the next video, I'll explain what we did until now and why we did in this way.